Welcome to Counters. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the contribution margin ratio. We're going to explain what it is, look at the formula, and go through an example in completing the contribution margin ratio. So what is this ratio? Well, this ratio is a percentage that shows the marginal benefit of producing one more unit. In other words, it shows the percentage of sales remaining to cover fixed expenses and generate a profit after accounting for all variable costs of producing a product. So we know that when we are doing the contribution margin or when we are calculating it, we're taking the sales minus the variable costs and we'll have our contribution. So the contribution margin ratio is the contribution percentage of the sales and you'll understand it as we go through an example. What is the formula for calculating the contribution margin ratio? Well, here it is. It's the contribution divided by the sales and that will give you the percentage. If you multiply by 100, obviously it's going to give you as a whole number. So you take the contribution divided by the sales. That's as easy as it gets. Let's go through an example in calculating the contribution margin ratio. Well, here it is. We're told that the details in the production department of Max PLC are 5,000 units at 160 Rand each. Direct material cost, we are given direct labor cost, factory overheads, and administrative expenses. We are asked to calculate the contribution margin ratio. So let's bring up our formula once more. It's contribution divided by the sales. Now, let's calculate our contribution. Firstly, we have to take our sales and deduct our variable costs. So let's begin with our sales. Well, we are told here that the estimated annual sales is 5,000 units at 160 rand each. So we know that our sales price per unit is 160 rand. So let's put that down. And then what is our variable cost? Well, we have direct material cost. We have direct labor cost. Those two will make up our variable cost. We don't see any other variable cost here because we are given factory overheads and administrative expenses, which are all fixed. So we're going to add the direct material cost plus the direct labor cost to give us our variable cost. So it's the 45 Rand plus the 90 Rand and it gives us 135 Rand variable cost. Now we're going to take our sales of 160 Rand minus the 135 Rand variable cost and it will give us a contribution of 25 Rand. Now we can calculate our contribution margin ratio. We will take our contribution of 25 Rand divided by the sales of 160 Rand. That's quite easy to do and it gives us a contribution margin ratio of 15.63%. That means after making the sales and after accounting for your variable costs, you have 15.63% remaining to cover your fixed expenses before you arrive at your profit. And obviously it may not be a profit. This 15.63% remaining after accounting for your variable costs may not be enough to cover your fixed expenses or your fixed costs. And that is why the break-even analysis would be a better one to use to be able to gauge what you need to sell at how much for you to be able to break even or make a profit. I hope it has made sense. I hope you now know what the contribution margin ratio is and how to explain it if you have to. If you have gained value from this lesson, consider subscribing to our channel, like this video, and share it to those who think it might help. Till next time, cheers.